River Otter Ecology Project studies river otters and their return to the San Francisco Bay Area after a long absence caused by pollution, loss of habitat, and fur trapping. They are doing well here now because we have done much of the restoration and conservation work needed to make our waters and shores attractive to otters. That provides the otters healthy food and safe neighborhoods, elements all of us living beings need to thrive. The fact that river otters are doing well in our densely populated Bay Area helps us understand that humans can and must help keep the planet healthy for everyone. Today, we're going to meet volunteer Aaron Bartow down at the beach to make some track casts. Casts are a model of animal prints we can make easily. It's fun, and as you'll see, it helps us discover and share information about our wildlife neighbors. Hi guys, so we're here at Abbott's Lagoon and we're trying to find an otter track that we could take a cast of. Otters often come up off out of the water because they hunt here and they use the shore to either eat, take a little nap, or go to the bathroom. So we're gonna look along the bank to see if we can find any. Here you can see that we've recently just found a fresh track. So now we're trying to, de to decide what kind of track is it? Well, if it was an otter, you can tell that there's five toes and this last one on the side is almost like a human thumb, so it's down and to the side a little bit. You can also see the webbing in between each of their toes, because otters have webbed feet, which helps them swim faster through the water. You can also see their slight claw indentations, which otters use their claws to climb up riverbanks or tearing apart their food. Today we're gonna to be taking a cast of this track. A cast is a type of copy that you can take home to show your family, your friends, and any, anyone else you wanna show the cool new track that you found. Today I'll show you how to make it. So first step is you need a piece of cardboard, a long piece of cardboard to wrap around the track. Make sure you don't damage the track while you're doing it and stick it in the mud. And then you're going to take a clip to hold it closed. There we go. Next, you're going to take your, your plaster, which is in a powder form. You're going to take a mixing bowl. And you're going to measure out a half cup plaster. and put it in the mixing bowl. And then you're gonna take a quarter cup water and add it in. Put those to the side. Next, you're gonna mix up your plaster to make sure it's nice and liquidy. You want it to be similar to pancake batter. Once it's nice and liquidy, you're gonna tap the, your bowl on the ground to knock out any bubbles that might've formed. All right, when it's nice and ready, you're gonna pour it into the, into the cardboard, but do, try not to pour it directly onto the track. Try to pour it next to it so you don't mess up your cool track. Now that our plaster is in our track, we have to wait half an hour before it dries and then we can finally see what it looks like. While we wait for our otter track to dry, now we're gonna try and find out, number one, what this print is, and then we're gonna try and take a cast of it. So this print, you can see there's four toes and the front two have large claws on them. Uh, you can also see that all four toes are, ve are very similar in size and regular. So what this has, tells me is that it's probably a coyote track. First, we're gonna take the cardboard again. We're also taking this track in sand, which might make it a little different than our previous track, which was in mud. So we're gonna see how the two differ. We'll take our cardboard, put it around the track, sink it into the sand a bit. All right, next we're gonna take our plaster again in our mixing bowl. And 
and we'll again take one half cup plaster and a quarter cup water. All right, and now we're gonna mix it until it's again similar to pancake batter consistency. Make sure you squish out all chunks of the plaster so it's all liquidy. All right, once it's the right consistency, we're gonna tap it again to bu get bubbles out. And then pour it into our cast, of trying to avoid the, the track itself, but off to the side. All right, once it's completely in, you can smooth around the top to make sure that it's filling the entire track, but don't damage it. And now we wait another 30 minutes for it to dry. All right guys, so it's been almost 30 minutes, so we're gonna check our cast to see if it's ready. The first way to test it is to see if it's hard on top, which it is, and if it's giving off a slight amount of heat, so it's slightly warm, because as it hardens, the chemical reactions make it turn a little warm. All right, so we're gonna pull the cardboard off. Oops, looks like it got a little stuck. And we're gonna slowly peel it up. So it looks like it got a bit of mud stuck to it, which we can clean off to see what we got. All right, as you can see, we got a pretty successful print. You can see all five toes, you can see their little claws and their little thumb that's still down and off to the side. So this is clearly an otter print. Now it's time to check our second cast. We're gonna feel the top to see if it's hard to see if it's slightly warm, which it is, so I think it's ready. We're gonna lift up the cardboard. Oh, it got stuck. Put that to the side. And now this one's covered in sand. All right, and now we're gonna try and rinse it off so we can try and see our track a little better. So you can see a little bit, you can see that there are four digits, all very similar. It is a little bit trickier to see the claws on this one. You can tell from the different textures that we did the prints in. The first one in mud was a lot cleaner, while the one in sand had a lot of the sand stick to the actual plaster, making it a little bit trickier to see. So it's a good idea to try and do your track print in a harder surface. But both turned out fairly well for a first time. This was my first time trying casting as well, and I think they turned out pretty well. However, if yours doesn't turn out great, just keep on trying because that's experimenting and that's what science is. Keep in mind that animal prints are a little hard to interpret because we don't often find the perfect print outdoors. Prints can be overlaid on each other, missing parts and look very different depending upon the substrate. Dirt, sand, clay, wet or dry, snow, Professional trackers spend a lifetime learning how to recognize and interpret tracks. Have fun with it and share your information with your friends, teachers, and other trackers.